Hello everyone. Today, we, the Department of Mass Communication, is going to interact with a few of the people and also some players who are playing for the ongoing Nagaland Olympic. And now we have Sir Tim Silongkumar, who is the sports coordinator of Tetso College. Sir, thank you for giving us your time. Please tell us about yourself. Okay, my name is uh, Tim Silongkumar, and I'm presently the sports coordinator of Tetso College. And uh, since uh, the Nagaland Olympic is coming up, so how is the preparation going on? Okay, uh, the preparation is going quite well, but due to the time constraints, uh, the preparation is becoming quite hectic. And Due to the weather conditions for the past few days, uh, there has been a lot of pressure to finish up at a certain given time. So I hope uh, we finish on the given time and we are putting the uh, synthetic, uh, synthetic flooring uh, at the basketball court, which will be the first in Naga, uh, Nagaland Olympics. The players will be playing at the synthetic court for this uh, the upcoming Nagaland Olympics and Paralympic Games. Well, that's a very good news for the athletes. So do you have any message for the aspiring athletes? Uh, for the aspiring athletes, I think uh, hard work and dedication should be the key to become a premier athlete. Okay, thank you so okay, much. Thank you. <clears throat> and now we have Sir Sinti. Thank you so much, Sir, for giving us your time. Please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is uh, Sinti Longkumar. Uh, I am the executive member uh, of uh, Basketball Federation of India and uh, I am also uh, the honorary secretary of uh, Nagaland Basketball Association and uh, also the president of Timapur District Basketball Association. Okay, so uh, sir, how do you ensure that the basketball team in Nagaland is well developed? Okay. Uh, if uh, I am not wrong, uh, I think basketball uh, as such and has picked up only in the last few years. I think we had uh, hardly any <coughs> uh, uh, appearance in national tournaments and that was one of the greatest disad disadvantages. But now uh, since uh, the last three, four years, I think we are making uh, uh, our participation in uh, national tournaments, national championships visible. Mm -hmm. And that is very important because unless you know, our team goes out and uh, plays with other, other teams, mm -hmm. teams from other states, it is very difficult for you know, our players to improve mm -hmm. uh, themselves because they will always be better here. Yes, yes. Unless they come, you know, play with the other teams, mm -hmm. you know, they will not have uh, you know that space where they can improve yes, yes. so that is one thing that uh, you know I am trying to work on mm -hmm. it is not very easy because we need lots of resources for that mm -hmm. and uh, as uh, as of now we are getting uh, just a very small amount mm -hmm. you know from the youth resource mm -hmm. and so that is something that we need to work out mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> another thing that uh, I am looking at is development of coaches and uh, technical officials because if again I am not wrong I think there will be only two NIS coaches, basketball coaches in Nagaland and that is very few. Yes, yes. Uh, we have around uh, 12 to um, 14 districts and we need more coaches. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no BFI level, level referees. BFI they have two levels of referees. Mm -hmm. One is B level and the other is A level mm -hmm. and so we have zero in that. And so we need to work on that. So yes. last year we sent uh, uh, two young young men mm -hmm. for uh, referee exam. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know they will get through. I hope uh, this year when we have uh, the BFI executive meeting, I think uh, the announcements regarding this uh, uh, qualification of referees will be made. I hope you know our two names are there. Yes. yes. So that is the other other thing. Then we also need a lot of coaching camps. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, uh, we need uh, coaches from outside to come yes. and then uh, <coughs> train our, you know, young players. Mm -hmm. And to that end, you know, even now I am thinking about a coaching camp, maybe just before the Northeast Olympics uh, uh, next next month. Yes. Hopefully, you know, we can have four or five coaches from Nagaland and few few others from the other states mm -hmm. to come here 
and you know uh, hopefully you know if BFI agrees mm -hmm. you know they'll be trained by an uh, international coach mm -hmm. and so that is what we are working out on yes. and so hopefully this will work out okay. we need more visibility yes like uh, what you are doing now is very good for me and for basketball mm -hmm. in Nagaland because People need to see that you know our players are playing basketball, and the administrators who are there, you know, at the uh, level of administration in basketball, you know, are also working. And so that's what you know uh, I want others to see. And people, if people see that you know we are playing basketball, we're organizing tournaments, then you know, young people will start taking up uh, this game. Yes, yes. You know, already, you know, within these few years, you know, I can see that. You know, almost all the corners of the Mapur, you know, young people are starting to, you know, uh, play basketball. And so that's a very uh, good trend, you know, that is coming up. Uh, another thing is uh, we need money. Yes. <laughs> we need corporates to come in. We need uh, sponsors to come in. We need even individual people to come up to, you know, help uh, yes, yes. The, the young players and also the basketball administration so that, you know, we can organize tournaments, organize camps, you know, send our uh, young players to play in national tournaments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, thank you so much for letting us know. Uh, I just want to ask you, what are your thoughts on basketball being accessible to all, regardless of gender and age? I think, uh, you know, this is uh, very important because uh, even at the BFI level, now uh, they are asking for more women referees mm. okay so you know that that you know we are all trying to take care of and i think it's very important that you know uh, this uh, gender uh, issue is taken care of mm. and i believe that in the next uh, you know few years we'll have more <coughs> women referees coming up yes. you know in basketball i'm also encouraging <coughs> women mm. you know from nagaland to take up you know coaching yes. To take up, uh, you know, technical uh, official work, mm -hmm. you know, all of that because uh, <clears throat> in Nagaland, you know, people think that basketball is only about playing, but there are so many roles, you know, that you know an individual can play when mm -hmm. it comes to basketball. There are spaces for <clears throat> physio. Uh, now, games are becoming more scientific, mm -hmm. and so we need, a, you know, uh, an analyst, data analyst. Uh, we need a uh, nutritionist, mm. you know, all of that. And so there are a lot of scope and I believe that, you know, even the women should come up, yes, you know, yes. take up such jobs and then, you know, help basketball grow. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us your time. We hope, uh, we, we wish you all the best for you. your upcoming Olympic. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for giving us your time. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Nupin and I'm representing Mokchung district. Or to, uh, on the ongoing Olympics, uh, I am the captain of the team, and we are 15, 17, along with the staff members and all. 17 of us are here to play the game. So we just had our first match today, and against Timinu, mm. and we won today. So that's it. So I would like to ask some few questions. Sure, sure. So how do you prepare? How do you prepare yourself mentally and physically for the ongoing Nagaland Olympics? Okay, it was uh, it was a new thing first of all because Olympic has been introduced now only the, uh, for cricket especially. So uh, physically and mentally, when you say physically and mentally, uh, we used to play cricket all the time, so and we used to represent the states as well. So mentally though, we have to prepare by ourselves only. We have to be. We have to think about the conditions, how, where, which conditions we are going to play. Because the Mabur is a hot weather, uh, now it's winter, but when we play during the summer, it's very hot. So, and we, when we come from the colder district, it's very difficult for us. So, so mentally and physically, we have to, uh, before the tournaments, we have to come here and stay here for some time to accumulate our bodies. So physically it's just we have to prepare to going to gyms and all we just do our morning exercises and just the gyms gym preparation and all we just do those and is there any advice you'd like to give to the young athletes young athlete mm -hmm. i am not that old as well <laughs> so just young athlete means like uh, the upcoming stars are there so upcoming players are there those who are very nice those who are very good and they are here they are in our, in, our, uh, in our team as well so them, they also have to go through all the harsh 
things like cricket is not an easy game and it has not been encouraged in Nagaland as well. So now, but since uh, uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but cricket is the only game where you earn money while playing. So that is the I encourage the uh, youngsters as well to uh, just go to the, if they are in, really interested in this, then just focus fully on that. And encouraging the youngsters means I don't have any such kind of encouragement to give them. If they are really interested in them, just go through it and go full heartedly. Thank you so much. Please introduce yourself. So my name is Zakaria Hussain. I am representing Team Twansang in this Olympics Games. And uh, I've been playing cricket for the past couple of years. I've represented district under 19s, under 16s and uh, uh, senior for a couple of years. So what inspired you to play cricket? Well, um, my inspiration behind playing cricket is pretty simple, you know, uh, I used to be, you know, I've studied my, uh, like, from, I've done my schooling on Asuna High School, which was an army school, and I was the odd one out because I belonged to the, like, uh, my father was a contractor and I was a civilian. So no one treated me differently, but yeah, I used to feel a little different. But when I started playing cricket, uh, it made me feel like I belonged there. No one uh, really cared about uh, what you are or who you are. Or, what you do. Only, uh, they only care about how you perform. That's all. And how do you handle the pressure of the competition? Well, uh, in my opinion, there is no pressure inside the field because everyone is uh, contributing equally to, you know, uh, win the game for the teams. And uh, my, uh, under pressure, there is no, uh, no such pressure if you put on, uh, put on your 100% effort and uh, everything is calm uh, when you just try to do your best. Not taking extra pressure is pretty simple. And however you put on your 100% effort, uh, it will result in helping the team. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. That is all we have for now. Keep watching for more updates.